community reunion. Can you just give me an idea uh, of who you are, what made you do this, what's your name? Sure, thank you. My name is Stacy, and I'm, I'm with Sisterhood Soiree, which is a women's group that basically strives to keep the community together. I had this vision because I was telling me the only time we come together is the set up to work against each other. And I said, wow, we need to bring some people together without asking for money. Because a lot of times, you call people and invite like, how much you cost? Oh, I ain't got no money. I ain't got no babysitter. No, for so this event, bring your children, bring your kids, bring your handicap. We have handicap over here. We have single citizens. Everybody. Did you, did, to, did you, for, um, in terms of finances, did you reach out to elected officials or you just said, I have this vision and I want to do this without even reaching out to them? I want, this time I want the community to actually do it. I stepped out on faith. That's what I did. I stepped out on faith and I was telling my mom about it initially. And she said, usually, if you take one step, God will give you the whole pair cake. So just go ahead and do it. We didn't have a budget. We didn't have any funds. We didn't take out any loans. I started asking, I mean, some people gave a bottle of water, some people gave a cake of water. I just started reaching out, reaching out, asking different individuals, individuals to come together. And then Kendra, which she's not here for the interview right now, she's with um, Delamont Hair Salon in Irvington. She reached out to each one of her customers. Did hot dog buns, did hamburger buns. Facebook paid and played a major part in this. Every day I was posting, listen, I need 20 packs of buns. I need hamburgers. And people came together. People came together that I've never even met till today. And they came and they bought things. And whatever they did, we bought out of my pocket. Now, maybe I know this is not your first time doing a community event because a couple of months ago you did the community event with the barbershop. Yeah. Uh, and I, just, I, didn't, I didn't attend, but I heard it was a success. So how did you hook up with this, this group? Well, actually, she um she had another she had an event before this one. I think it was a basketball autism thing for um, autistic kids at Central High School. And she told me we got yeah. together. She called me up and said, come out. We, we got together and we made it work there, too. So, you know, I'm in the community anyway, so this is what I do. You already know. I mean... This is what I got to do anyway. It's my job. Whether people want to do it or not, it's my job. I came from the streets. We got kids running around and playing. We got to help them. I thank you guys so much. And the moral of this story is the community. When the community comes together, we can do this. We don't need elected officials, although they pay a part. Um, but when the community come together, and as you said, faith and the vision, we can do this. And I can't thank you guys enough. Thank you guys so, so much. Thank you. Thank you for coming out. Uh, one, more, one more question. Um, I need your Facebook addresses so people can get in contact with you just in case they, you know, want to reach out to you. You can catch me on Facebook, um, Liddy Murdoch, that's my name on Facebook, and you can catch me on uh, Twitter, at Liddy Murdoch, or my Instagram is uh, Murdoch050, you can holler at me. And where we at again? We oh, at we're in Lincoln, Lincoln Park, Park. Where? New York, New Jersey. Where they say we can't come together because, look around, oh, we came together man. today. We came together and I think we fed a village and we still feed. Kendra's not here right now because she's at Sea Town getting us some more hamburgers and hot dogs. Thank you. Thank you. There you have it. You guys are mom. We can do two sets. Then we want to talk about the 